All right, all right, everybody, take your seats. Good morning, and welcome to the one, the only, New York, New York. Now, on this tour, we have the absolute honor of hosting the lovely Mackenzie Spanger, who you all might know as the most beautiful lady this side of the Atlantic Ocean. She's smart, she's caring, she's passionate, and above all else, she's a hard worker who really has her head on straighter than the route that this bus takes. This is all due to the life that she lives, a life full of people and animals that she cares about and loves, a life full of hobbies and friends that can keep her busy, and a life that's going to lead her to do some great things one day. Now, if you take a look to your right, you will see Mackenzie's parents, her mom, Sherry, and her dad, Brian, who have been married for 20 years, and her little brother, Luke. Now, about her mom, uh, Mackenzie actually says that it, she is one of the people that she looks up to more than anything else in the world, saying that even though she has a first job and a second job in the Basketball Boosters Club, she's always ready to come home and just help the kids with homework or provide for them whatever they need. And if these pictures don't show that she loves her family enough, then that quote sure does. Now, no family is complete without one thing, pets. And Mackenzie has three of them. A miniature schnauzer named Bandit, and two racehorses, not racehorses, two horses, named Dollar and Stroker, respectively. Like I said, no family is complete without a pet, and living on a ranch has given Mackenzie all the opportunities she needs to really just get the experience to be with animals and her family at the same time. Now, if you look to your right, you will also see Mackenzie's friends, and she has a lot of them. There's Miranda Hennings, Clara Jones, Emma Lysinger, Hope Ritchie. Just, there's just a lot of people that Mackenzie cares for. And actually, like I said, there's just, <laughs> like I said, there's just a lot of people that she cares for, and her friends are very important to her. Almost important to her as basketball. And Again, if you look to your right, you'll see a basketball court, and uh, I hope you guys all brought some doctors, because Mackenzie can tell in that court, your ankles are going to need a little bit of uh, work. See, Mackenzie is on the ALHS girls basketball team, and as if they weren't already good enough, without her being as passionate as she is about basketball, there's no way that any other school even stands a chance. Now, basketball isn't the only thing that she's passionate about, obviously. And whenever you can, you'll either find her working her job at the Iowa West Fieldhouse, practicing basketball, like we said, or just hanging out with her friends. There's really never a dull moment in Mackenzie's life. And whenever you can, you're just going to find her out doing what she loves. Now, this next stop may confuse a few of you, but if you look directly ahead, you'll see the future. Mackenzie's future, to be exact. Mackenzie plans on attending college at Iowa State to become a veterinarian utilizing her skills and her passion for animals to help them when they are sick or injured or just in need. Mackenzie does not necessarily can plan to continue uh, basketball into college, but there is one thing that she does want to continue to do, travel. Mackenzie has already been to Greece and around Europe a bit, and it's something that she doesn't want to stop doing ever. She said that learning about the culture, going to museums, and just being in an area that was completely foreign to her was too good of an opportunity to pass up. So, and if you look here, you'll see a few pictures of her in uh, Greece. Um, pretty neat. <laughs> um, so, thank you for joining us today on this tour. Uh, we really learned a lot about Mackenzie today, and. Um, we went through just a few simple stops. We saw her friends, her family, we saw her hobbies and interests, and we even got a glimpse into her future. In fact, we were so focused on that, actually, that we missed all the uh, actual like attractions in New York. But honestly, I think in hindsight, learning about Mackenzie is better than any tour of New York could ever hope to be. So again, thank you for joining us, and please watch your head on the way out of the bus.